9월 24일 쉬운 영어로 맥체인 성경통독 오늘 말씀은 사무엘라 20장 고린도후서 13장 에스겔 27장 10편 75편 76편 말씀입니다. 세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세세
Why do you want to swallow up what belongs to the Lord? I would never do anything like that. Joab said. I would never swallow up or destroy what belongs to the Lord. That isn't what I have in mind at all. There's a man named Sheba, the son of Bikri, in your city. He's from the hill country of Ephraim. He's trying to kill King David. Hand that man over to me. Then I'll pull my men back from your city. The woman said to Joab. We'll throw his head down to you from the wall. Then the woman gave her wise advice to all the people in the city. They cut off the head of Sheba, the son of Bikri. They threw it down to Joab. So he blew his trumpet. Then his men pulled back from the city. Each of them returned to his home. And Joab went back to the king in Jerusalem. Joab was commander over Israel's entire army. Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, was commander over the Carithites and Pelethites. Adoniram was in charge of those who were forced to work hard. Jehoshaphat, the son of Ahalud, kept the records. Shiva was the secretary. Zadok and Abiathar were priests. Ira, the gyrite, was David's priest. Second Corinthians 13. This will be my third visit to you. Scripture says, every matter must be proved by the words of two or three witnesses. Deuteronomy chapter 19 verse 15, I already warned you during my second visit. I now say it again while I'm away. When I return, I won't spare those who sinned earlier. I won't spare any of the others either. You are asking me to prove that Christ is speaking through me. He is not weak in dealing with you. He is powerful among you. It is true that Christ was nailed to the cross because he was weak. But Christ lives by God's power. In the same way, we share his weakness. But by God's power we will live with Christ as we serve you. Take a good look at yourselves to see if you are really believers. Test yourselves. Don't you realize that Christ Jesus is in you? Unless, of course, you fail the test. I hope you will discover that I haven't failed the test. I pray to God that you won't do anything wrong. I don't pray so that people will see that I have passed the test. Instead, I pray this so that you will do what is right, even if it seems I have failed. I can't do anything to stop the truth. I can only work for the truth. I'm glad when I am weak but you are strong. I pray that there will be no more problems among you. That's why I write these things before I come to you. Then when I do come, I won't have to be hard on you when I use my authority. The Lord gave me the authority to build you up. He didn't give it to me to tear you down. Finally, brothers and sisters, be joyful. Work to make things right with one another. Help one another and agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God who gives love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All God's people here send their greetings. May the grace shown by the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. May the love that God has given us be with you. And may the sharing of life brought about by the Holy Spirit be with you all. Ezekiel chapter 27. A message from the Lord came to me. The Lord said, Son of man, sing a song of sadness about Tyre. It is located at the gateway to the Mediterranean Sea. It does business with nations on many coasts. Say to it, the Lord and King says, Tyre, you say, I am perfect and beautiful. You were like a ship that ruled over the high seas. Your builders made you perfect and beautiful. They cut all your lumber from juniper trees on Mount Hermon. They used a cedar tree from Lebanon to make a mast for you. They made your oars out of oak trees from Bashan. They made your deck out of cypress wood from the coasts of Cyprus. They decorated it with ivory. 
Your sail was made out of beautiful Egyptian linen. It served as your banner. Your shades were made out of blue and purple cloth. They were from the coasts of Elisha. Men from Sidon and Arvad manned your oars. Tyre, your sailors were skillful. Very skilled workers from Byblos were on board. They kept you waterproof. All the ships on the sea and their sailors came up beside you. They brought their goods to trade for yours. Men from Persia, Lydia and Put served as soldiers in your army, city of Tyre. They hung their shields and helmets on your walls. That brought glory to you. Men from Arvad and Helic guarded your walls on every side. Men from Gamid were in your towers. They hung their shields around your walls. They made you perfect and beautiful. Tarshish did business with you because you had so much wealth. They traded silver, iron, tin and lead for your goods. Greece, Tubal and Meshech did business with you. They traded human beings and bronze objects for your products. Men from Beth to Garma traded chariot horses, war horses and mules for your goods. Men from Rhodes did business with you. Many lands along the coast bought goods from you. They paid you with ivory tusks and ebony wood. Aram did business with you because you had so many products for sale. They traded turquoise, purple cloth and needlework for your goods. They also traded fine linen, coral and rubies for them. Judah and Israel did business with you. They traded wheat from minith, sweets, honey, olive oil and lotion for your products. Damascus did business with you. That's because you had so many products and so much wealth. They traded to you wine from Helban and wool from Zahar. They also traded to you casks of wine from Izzel. You traded to them wrought iron, cassia and calamus. Dedan traded saddle blankets to you. Arabia and all the princes of Kedar bought goods from you. They traded you lambs, rams and goats for them. Traders from Sheba and Raama did business with you. They traded the finest spices, jewels and gold for your goods. Haran, Cana and Eden did business with you. So did traders from Sheba, Asher and Kilmod. In your market they traded beautiful clothes, blue cloth and needlework to you. They also traded colorful rugs that had twisted cords and tight knots. The ships of Tarshish carry your products. You are like a ship filled with a heavy load as you sail the sea. The sailors who man your oars take you out to the high seas. But the east wind will break you in pieces far out at sea. You will be wrecked on that day. Your wealth, goods and products will sink deep into the sea. So will your sailors, officers, carpenters, traders and all your soldiers. Anyone else on board will sink too. The lands along the coast will shake when your sailors cry out. All those who man the oars will desert their ships. The sailors and all the officers will stand on the shore. They will raise their voices. They will cry bitterly over you. They will sprinkle dust on their heads. They will roll in ashes. They will shave their heads because of you. And they will put on the clothes of sadness. They will weep over you. Their spirits will be greatly troubled. They will be very sad. As they weep and mourn over you, they will sing a song of sadness about you. They will say, who was ever like Tyre? It was destroyed in the sea. Your goods went out on the seas. You supplied many nations with what they needed. You had so much wealth and so many products. You made the kings of the earth rich. Now the sea has torn you apart. You have sunk deep down into it. Your products and all your people have gone down with you. All those who live in the lands along the coast are shocked because of what has happened to you. Their kings tremble with fear. Their faces are twisted in horror. The traders among the nations laugh at you. You have come to a horrible end. And you will be gone forever.
Psalm chapters 75 to 76. Psalm chapter 75. For the director of music. A psalm of Asaph. A song to the tune of, Do not destroy. God, we praise you. We praise you because you are near to us. People talk about the wonderful things you have done. You say, I choose the appointed time to judge people. And I judge them fairly. When the earth and all its people tremble, I keep everything from falling to pieces. To the proud I say, don't brag anymore. To sinners I say, don't show off your power. Don't show it off against me. Don't talk back to me, no one from east or west or north or south can judge themselves. God is the one who judges. He says to one person, you are guilty. To another he says, you are not guilty. In the hand of the Lord is a cup. It is full of wine mixed with spices. It is the wine of his anger. He pours it out. All the evil people on earth drink it down to the very last drop. I will speak about this forever. I will sing praise to the God of Jacob. God says, I will destroy the power of all sinful people. But I will make godly people more powerful. Psalm chapter 76. For the director of music. A psalm of Asaph. A song to be played on stringed instruments. In the land of Judah, God is well known. In Israel, his name is great. His tent is in Jerusalem. The place where he lives is on Mount Zion. There he broke the deadly arrows of his enemies. He broke their shields and swords. He broke their weapons of war. God, you shine like a very bright light. You are more majestic than mountains full of wild animals. Brave soldiers have been robbed of everything they had. Now they lie there, sleeping in death. Not one of them can even lift his hands. God of Jacob, at your command both horse and chariot lie still. People should have respect for you alone. Who can stand in front of you when you are angry? From heaven you handed down your sentence. The land was afraid and became quiet. God, that happened when you rose up to judge. It happened when you came to save all your suffering people in the land. Your anger against sinners brings you praise. Those who live through your anger gather to worship you. Make promises to the Lord your God and keep them. Let all the neighboring nations bring gifts to the God who should be respected. He breaks the proud spirit of rulers. The kings of the earth have respect for him.